Welcome back to the Mustang Classic. Steve Kadelka from Lynchburg joins us. And just like last year, we talk about this tournament. First, the, the value of getting two games, two days, to be able to do it in one place, and especially as you all really get ready to start knocking heads in the Yodak coming up next weekend. What does a weekend like this do to help you and your staff prepare your team for the grind that comes up ahead? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's uh, – we just talked about in the locker room with the guys, it's almost like uh, getting midterms. <laughs> you know, it's uh, – we're about halfway through the year, and – and and you know we can we should be able to sit back after you know the first seven games and sit there and say okay here's here's what our grades are you know and um, and and playing the teams we played there's we have no false um, you know uh, understanding of where we are we, we have, I think we're gonna have a pretty good understanding and I think that's the best thing for us moving forward and that's why we come to this event to play in that and, and give us that experience. I was gonna say some teams would would duck an event like this because it's good competition but by playing two great teams here that you normally do when you come to this event what kind of value does an event like this have especially in the division three community with budget issues for a lot of schools oh, yeah, yeah. where you can come together and and get two good teams on your resume well I mean I, you know I, I think it's important for us to, to play I mean playing in this event is awesome for our, for our program obviously for our school for our alumni um, you know for, for all the you know everything and so you know we're, we're excited to be to be part of this there's no doubt about it and I think now you know, we sit there and we're sitting there. Wow, you got you got to play Stevenson on Friday night, and they come back and play Amherst. You know, and uh, not easy to do. Uh, but at the same time, like I said earlier, it, it you know we we found out a lot about ourselves that we did not know maybe on Thursday. That now we know Saturday night. Um, and I think our coaching staff will hopefully do a good enough job to kind of talk to that with our guys and and our kids. And I think. I, you know, we, at times we played very good lacrosse this weekend, and, and so you know the effort for the most part was there the entire weekend. And now we just gotta, you know, we gotta clean things up if we want to if we want to go where we want to go this year. Obviously, you have this similar type format coming up next week, and with Swanee then uh, on the road at Washington and Lee yeah. uh, the next day. Uh, what does the back-to-back -back preparation type, where you play one day and then play another, as you get ready to do that again next week? How yeah. much does that help? You know, I mean, I, I hope it helps. You know, we'll find out. I'll tell you in about a week, but. Um, I think for us, you know, we're, you know, it's where our, our ODAC um, tournament is set up as well. So, so, you know, we want to, if we're fortunate enough to be in that situation, we don't want that to be the first time we're doing this, you know, because playing back to back, and, and I, I mean, I love the fact our kids are right now in the locker room, they're fit. Um, we, you know, we came out of here unscathed. We have zero injuries, um, you know, and I think at the end of the day, like, I think we could have probably played another game, you know, and, and, and that's good. And so, um, so we're, th we're good in that entity. Now we just got to clear up some of the, the, the technical X's and O's stuff and also, you know, maybe some of our mental capacities as well. So it's on the way CJ played uh, and really kept you in the game because when you see 53 shots, your goalie's got to make some big stops for you. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, th I think some of them, you know, were, were, were deflected and stuff like that. But, I, yeah, he – you know, he played great. I mean, he, he was uh, put a little under the fire. I think they took like 10 shots in the first like five minutes. And, um, you know, and, and after that, I think you know, after that, the game settled down and we, we played pretty much an even game, you know, mm -hmm. but but in this environment and against a team like Amherst, you can't give them a three nothing lead three minutes into a game and, and then just be you know having to come from behind the entire time. We, and, you know, like I said, our guys, we got fighters, man. We got we got some competitive kids. There was never a doubt in my mind being down three nothing that we weren't going to chip back, but it was unfortunate that here we are down three nothing. And now, you, now you got to work so much harder, you know, to get to the tie. Maybe and we took the lead one time, just like we did last night. So, you know, can we get up three nothing on somebody else and then and then extend that lead? Right. You know, and so kind of we've done in the past, but this is a different team, and, and we're learning. And we got a lot of younger guys playing, and um, and we'll be better for it. No I was doubt. About say it. no doubt. You all have been battle tested. Salisbury, Stevenson, Amherst. Best of luck as you all start thank, conference play coming you. up next week. Thank you very much. I really all appreciate right, it. Steve Kadelka joining us here as Lynchburg falls to Amherst by a score of 10-8 to 8 at the Mustang Classic.